This is an open letter to the LGBTQ and now P community. Um, I've done quite a few videos about how I feel about gays and lesbians and transsexuals, trans transgenders, queers, etc. And those videos that I've done, I've actually took off my channel. And the reason why is because I don't want no controversy. I don't want none of that. I don't want no smoke from that, straight up. I know how YouTube gets down. I know how powerful the LGBTQP community is. And that they have the power to shut people the fuck down and the fuck up. And it's just that plain and simple. So I've shut my mouth when it comes to the LGBTQ and now P community. I shut the fuck up. But I see that when I have certain videos and I include them in it for a particular purpose and I speak my mind about it and those opinions that I have are led by facts I see that they get all fucking disturbed about it. Like nowadays, you can't even fucking sit back and speak the truth about shit. They get all salty with that. And it kills me. I understand that there's an attack on you all. And I don't agree with that. I understand that y'all are going through um, some hard times where transgenders are, are being shot and killed for their sexual preference or who they want to be and I don't honor that I don't respect that I get it I understand that you want to be who you want to be I get it and I'm not going to say I promote that I'm not going to say that I'm going to help push your agenda because you sure as hell are not helping pushing push my agenda you sure as hell is not helping the black community when you see young black kids black men and black women being shot in the streets by police you sure as hell are not in the forefront for our agenda and our agenda is somewhat similar to yours we just want equality which is crazy to me I don't understand why blacks just want equality Fuck that, I want more than that. I want reparations, I want, I want black privilege, just like white privilege. And we deserve it. More than anybody, because we built this fucking goddamn uh, 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 United States of America spell with three Ks. It's crazy. It's crazy to me. We gotta respect and honor you all, and we, we have to help you all. We have to be activists when it comes to you know, the LGBTQ community. Now, Pete, we, we, have to, we have to respect and honor what you, we, we have to accept you. If you say that you're a woman, but you're really not a woman because you were born a man, we have to say, you know, you know her and, and she. If you were born a, a, a woman, but you now you're saying you're a man, we have to accept that. We have to call, we have to say he and him. But when it comes to the black community, it's something totally the fucking different. Nobody has to respect the black community, and that's the fucking problem. That's the problem. That's the problem. You see, let me tell you something. You see those young black men out there that are walking around that they, they're gay? You know that's by default, right? You know that the slave master not only raped little girls and black women, black little girls and black women he also raped and sodomized boys and men and that in our community in our race there is no history of a worldwide epidemic of gays and lesbians 
But now all of a sudden, you got men popping up everywhere and women popping up everywhere. They're saying that they transgender, they gay, they this and that and so forth. And that truthfully, if, if you really open your eyes, you can see that there's a gay agenda being pushed inside the black community as if we don't have enough problems. <laughs> now we have this gay agenda thing. But I'm supposed to shut the fuck up about it. I'm supposed to allow these things to happen. No, it's not going to happen. It's not. Not on my watch. No, it's not going to happen. I'm not going to accept you. I respect you as a man. That you were born a man. I respect the man in you. I respect the woman in you. But I would not respect. Oh, let me turn it around. I respect who you were born. Who you need to be and who you should be. But I don't respect who you want to be. I'm not going to call you a she if you a man. Because you're not. I'm not going to call you a, a he if you're a woman. Because you're not. And it's crazy because, you know what? You all that are men that want to be women, you all get these shots. These, these uh, testosterone blockers, right? To block the testosterone. You never sit back and try to attempt to be a man. In other words, why not? Instead of getting testosterone blockers, why not? Inject more testosterone in you. Why not try your hardest to be who and what you were born to be instead of who you want to be? You do inhumane things, which is get your penis chopped off. Your 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 face carved and chopped up it makes no sense there is a mental problem going on here there's a mental problem going on here somewhere in your body there's a chemical imbalancement but you don't want to address that you don't want to say that being gay and being a lesbian it's actually a mental disease. I respect you as a human being. I would never, ever put my hands on you. Ever. In life. Ever. Unless you put your hands on me first. I respect your space. I respect your life. Your life is valuable just as well as mine. But I cannot respect your choice, your lifestyle, your choice of lifestyle. I can't respect that. And what I mean by say, stating that I can't respect that, I'm just saying that I don't acknowledge that. I just don't. So just the other day, um, I got this uh, comment by this dude. And I don't mind you know, if gays, lesbians, LGBT community um, subscribe to my channel, you can learn a lot. And I can learn a lot from you. This is a platform for everybody. Period. So just because I don't respect your lifestyle, the way that you live your life, this doesn't mean that I hate you. That I'm just, I don't respect it. I, that's, some, that's some shit I don't respect. I can have my opinion. Just as well as everybody else. But this is what this guy said. Um, let's see here. What the fuck? Crazy. Uh, let's go down. La, 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 um, so I put out this video called The Born Uncut Truth about dating in Atlanta, right? <clears throat> and I was talking about side chicks. And the women that looked at it got it. They understood, you know, that I wasn't talking about women. I'm talking about side chicks, bitches that ain't worth shit. Not real women. Real women are, are, are real women. They're not bitches and whores. A side chick is a whore. That's all she is. She's secondary, right? But I, I guess this guy didn't get it. He, he didn't understand. Okay, let's, 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 let's read what, he's, what he wrote in the comment section. I was rocking with you until you started going in on transsexuals and transgenders. So you mean to tell me, let me get this right. 
Everything was perfect. I was saying all the right things. When I was talking about white people, when I was talking about, you know, the social issues, the, uh, the injustices that black people face, all types of shit. That, oh, that was good. But the minute I started talking about something that you are emotional about, you get emotional. <clears throat> um, okay. If you're going to tell people that they should accept what they were born with, I wonder if you are going to tell a child that was born with no legs or limbs to just accept what God has given them and not get prosthetics or any surgeries to help them to walk. That sounds kind of intelligent, but it's totally stupid because that's not what I'm saying. That's not what I'm saying. That's not what I'm saying. That's not what I said. Period. It's a difference. See, what you don't understand, there's a difference between a boy born, born without no legs than a boy being born a boy and wants to become a goddamn girl. Do you not understand that? It's a difference. So your example was stupid as shit. Your reasoning is stupid as shit. Uh, God has given them and not... Okay, I wonder if you would tell a child who was born blind to just accept the way that they were made and not get surgeries or implants. It, that's something stupid again. That's something that that person... That person was born that way. He was born that way. You were born a boy. You were born a boy. You're altering yourself. Do you not understand that? You're changing yourself. You're changing yourself. This guy that was that you gave an example saying that he was born blind, it's nothing he could do about it. He was born blind. So it's not like he's changing himself. He's 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 trying to 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 to, to see. That's that's a that's something that he can't he couldn't help. You are altering yourself. Do you not get that? Do you not? I, I shouldn't even read this anymore. You, you don't, don't you get that? You don't get that. You were born a man. A man. A, excuse me, a boy. And going into a man. And you're trying to change that. What about people born with all kinds of diseases? Will you tell them to just accept the diseases and not get surgery and implants to help them to navigate through an order, or, already harsh life? Of course you won't because there are not situations that could potentially challenge your mind state and your ego when it comes to dating dating and women instead of telling trans people to be men instead of who they feel do you hear that do you hear that do you hear that i'm glad you said that i'm glad you said that do you understand that i am fucking intelligent why would you want to challenge me man why why you are going to lose you're gonna lose with me you're gonna lose with me let's go let's go let's go let's go let's go i'm about to call you out on this too i'm about to call your name your name is i got your back um and that's crazy i got your back pause <laughs> no pun intended <laughs> oh man okay so um tell and uh accept it Harsh life, of course you won't because these are not situations that can potentially challenge your mind state and your ego when it comes to dating and, dating and women. Instead of telling trans people to be men instead of who they feel. Do you understand feel? Emotions. It's not who they are. It's not who they need to be. It's how they feel. How I feel in the inside. Yo, sometimes I feel like knocking a nigga the, the fuck out. But guess what? That's my emotions. What is the right thing to do within reasoning to sit back and say, you know what? If I have a problem with this guy, let me discuss it. discuss the situation with him instead of, you know, uh, 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 verbally or physically being abusive towards him. So that's a feeling. You feel like you're a girl, but you're not. You feel it, but you're not. You're not. You got to pull your dick out and piss just like I do. Uh, I'm just uh instead of who they feel are in their brains. Maybe you need to stop objectifying women. I don't do that. I don't objectify women. So I don't know what you're talking about. I was talking about a side chick. Side chicks are who and what they are, regardless of whether I talk about them or not. So it ain't objectifying women. I have videos about, about praising women. 
I have said that the black woman is my God. So I don't know what the fuck you talking about, but let's move on. Objectifying women and trusting your lower self. I don't know what you mean by that. You, you do have a lower self. You do, because at the end of the day, you know what? The LGBT community, you know what their campaign is? You know what their agenda is? It's sexuality. It's all based on who I want to fuck. Period. And you have to agree with that. That's what it's based on. Y'all want equality. Y'all want to have the same rights that a heterosexual has. Period. So your whole campaign, your whole community, and all of that is based on sexuality. That's it. I want you to accept me fucking a dude up the ass. I want you to accept me cutting my dick off, getting a pussy and some tits, and dating a heterosexual man. It's all sexuality. That's what your agenda is about. That's what your campaign is about. Uh, that way you will have no other choice but to take your time and investigate who you project your lustful desires and affections towards. At least I have lustful desires and affection towards the opposite sex. Yes, I love the shit out of women. I love them. This is the reason why I can't understand how a man wants to be a woman. I just I can't I can't I can't that I can't wrap that around my head I, I swear to fucking God I love me some women I love them I love them oh my God I love them I love them I love them I love them to death I love you all I love you all black women I love all black women I, I love all women but I specifically love black women oh my God y'all are so beautiful oh my God I just want I just want to touch you I just want to hold you God damn oh, yes 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 I my lustful and affection affections are, are towards a woman Whew. Never, man. Keep on reading. Uh, that's what desires to towards avoid, uh, and avoid potentially giving them to what you call men in the dress and the wig. Just a thought. Ah, oh, man, listen. Um, go see a psychiatrist, man. Get your get your life right. Get your life right. It's a mental disease. And I understand y'all. I mean, I understand y'all going through some things. It's a mental disease. I mean, just get, just, just sit on the couch with somebody and just talk it over. Somewhere down the line, maybe you weren't raped, but somewhere down the line, your 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 ancestors was raped, and 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 it, it was passed down from through genealogy. Somewhere down the line, there's some type of abuse in your life, and I suggest that you get take get that taken care of because at the end of the day, you were born a man, and it's nothing that you can do. Don't you understand? It's nothing that you could do or say. You want to know why? Because your DNA is always going to show that you are a man. You can never run away from that. Guess what? You can get your shit chopped off and all the rest of that. You can become a tra transgender woman, right? And guess you'll die, right? You're going to die. Everybody's going to die. And when they dig your ass up 200 years from now and they do a hair sample, guess what? Your DNA is going to state that you were and always will be a fucking man. And it's just that plain and simple. I don't make the rules, nature does. And don't talk about no, oh well it's, there's homosexuality in, in, in the animal kingdom and it's this and that, so are we animals now? Are we animals now? Fuck out of here, I'm not trying to hear that. Fuck out of here. In my opinion, who birthed homosexuality? The Greeks and the Romans. Who birthed pedophilia? The Greeks and the Romans. My name is Langston2092. I want you to like, comment, su subscribe, share. I'm pretty sure I'm going to get flagged and all the rest of that shit. Fuck y'all niggas that's flagging because at the end of the day, you don't want me to ha have my own opinion. You don't want me to state the facts and all the rest of that shit. I ain't bashing y'all niggas. I'm not gay bashing y'all at all. I'm just speaking my mind. I'm speaking the truth. That's all I got to say. One.